Light is all around us. Waves from radio stations are all around us as well. These are both examples of electromagnetic waves. The wave inside your microwave oven is also an electromagnetic wave. But how and why do we want to control these waves? In a microwave oven, the walls are made of metal in order to contain the wave inside. In optical communications, we place the light inside glass fibers in order to send it from one place to another. So with different materials, we can control these waves. There are naturally available materials like water, metal, wood, and so on. When a wave hits an object that is made of this material, it scatters. And that splashing of wave is how we can see that object. Can we make an object invisible? What if we design a man-made material that cloaks an object? In other words, it bends an incoming wave around it without being scattered so we don't see the object. When the light passes through water, it bends in one direction. Can we make an artificial medium that bends the wave the other direction? These are examples of exciting possibilities that new class of materials known as metamaterials can provide us. In Greek, meta means beyond. And these structures have unusual, beyond the ordinary effects on wave. Ordinary materials are made of atoms and molecules. A cube of gold, for example, has its gold atoms arranged in a specific pattern. It is the gold atom in this pattern that gives gold its electromagnetic properties. In metamaterials, we go beyond this natural arrangement to a new level of organization. We design our own collection of tiny structures using multiple materials. For example, an array of gold cubes in a block of glass. And like regular material, the electromagnetic properties of metamaterial depends on how we shape and arrange these structures. The difference is we can create new properties that are not found in nature. And that's what metamaterials are all about.